Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome back to online classes. In this class, we have to study about calculation of interest on drawings by quarterly basis. If a partner with the draw three months once during that time, how we have to calculate the average period, how we have to calculate the total drawing and how we have to calculate the interest on drawing that we have to learn in this class. In the last class, we have to discuss monthly drawings, middle of the month drawings and also end of the month of drawings. During that time, the interest rate, how it is fluctuated that we have to discuss. But in this class, we have to discuss about the if a partner with the drawing quarterly basis during that time how to calculate interest on drawings that we have to calculate in this class only so let's come to one question about this manner only so here Anil and Sunil are partners partners in a firm in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1 stop anil anil Withdrawn rupees two thousand five hundred at the beginning of each quarter, each quarter at at. Eight percent per annum per annum for the year ending in the thirty first March two thousand twenty. Calculate interest. On drawings under average period method calculate interest on drawings under average period method so we have to calculate interest on drawings on quarterly basis so this question will be asked in the last year midterm examination also in the preparatory examination also in this manner they will ask the question amount will be different rate of interest will be different the method and the steps will be common there so let's come to solve this question only Anil and Sunil are partners in a firm both are having a partners in a particular firm Sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1. In future, they will get any profit or any loss. They have to distribute it according to this ratio. But in our calculation, ratio is countless. We should not consider this one. We won't distribute any profit, any losses. Now we are calculating interest only. So, out of two partners, Anil withdrawn rupees 2500 at the beginning of each quarter in the previous questions they will clearly says that the partner withdrawing only in the beginning of the month middle of the month end of the month like this manner they are going to be given but now they are given quarterly quarter is nothing but three months will be considered as a one quarter so totally one financial year we have four quarters three months will be considered as a one quarter so quarterly means three months three months three months 
Interest is 8% per annum for the year ending 31st March 2020. Calculate interest on drawings under average period method. Quarterly basis they are given means they will ask on the average period method only. So now we have to calculate the interest on drawings by following average period is nothing but three steps. First, calculation of calculation of interest interest of anil's drawings anil's drawings calculation of interest on anil's drawings so we have again three steps first step one step one Calculation, calculation of average, average period, calculation of average period, therefore, calculation of average period, therefore, we have one formula, average period, is equal long period plus short period divided by 2 long period plus short period divided by 2 so this is the formula now average period we don't know this is question mark long period so here the partner withdrawing beginning of each quarter beginning means first of the first month that means first of april april to 31st march 2020 so totally how many months duration will be there 12 months duration will be there long period is 12 months plus after withdrawing the first quarter, the partner will not be withdrawn remaining three months. Next completion of the three months only, he is going to be withdrawn. That means he withdrawn April 1st. April means June. So these three months will be considered as a one quarter. Next withdrawing date is next he will come from the April, May, June, July. First he is going to be withdrawn. That means the short duration of that is. 3 months divided by 12 sorry divided by 2 therefore 12 plus 3 15 divided by 2 by dividing the 15 into two manners we will get 7.5 is the average period average period so average period is 7.5 seven and a half months we will get so we should convert it into 7.5 this is step number one let's move to step two step two calculation of calculation of total drawings Calculation of total drawings. Therefore, total drawings is equal amount of drawings into number of months. Number of months. Now, total drawings we don't know. That is question mark only. Amount of drawings we know that 25, sorry, 2500 into number of months. In the previous questions, we have to calculate the duration, date of drawings to the date of ending. 12 months will be there. But in this question, they are given information about quarterly. Quarterly means three months will be considered as a one quarter. So, totally in the one financial year, four quarters will be there. 
we have to number of months we should consider four quarters therefore total drawings is equal 2500 into 4 we will get 10,000 rupees 10,000 is the total drawings this is step number 2 let's come to step 3 calculation of calculation of interest calculation of interest so while calculating the interest we have one formula that is interest on drawings is equal to interest on drawings is equal to total drawings into rate of interest into average period into 1 divided by 12 so this is the formula we have with which we have to calculate the interest on drawings only now interest on drawings is question mark we don't know total drawings is 10,000 into rate of interest is 8% into average period is 7.5 into 1 divided by 12 so this is the common value this is the formula with which we have to calculate the interest on drawings now by simplifying this we will get interest interest on drawings is equal to rupees 500 so 500 is the interest on drawing suppose a partner has withdrawn quarterly means we have to calculate interest like this manner step number one will be changed step number two will be changed step number three is common value if he is withdrawn beginning of the quarter so sometimes if he withdrawn end of the month quarter also we have to solve in one more question